yeah we're going all the way up there peace royal family i truly hope all is well with each and every one of you i'm about to give you a tour of my penthouse airbnb that cost under five hundred dollars for the month so we're just going to take a quick look on the inside for those of you who may be thinking about traveling to mexico and if you ever thought about guadalajara i have the perfect airbnb for you luxury Airbnb tour. So I'm going to start off with the living area and I'm just going to kind of show you first how everything is. You have your black screen mounted, your decor, beautiful lighting, your beautiful blackout curtains, beautifully decorated table. Don't mind my <laughs> me setting the, the energy right and the mood right the candles and the incense. This is a lovely little sectional here with some more artwork on the wall. And so I'll just give you a closer look. I absolutely love this place. I've only been here for about a day or two. It has been absolutely wonderful. Now here, the weather here in Guadalajara is fairly cool. So that's why you see the fan there and there's no air conditioning, which is why I have the window open just to let out a cool breeze. Remember, this is the 14th floor of the penthouse, so there is no need um, to worry about bugs or things because there's no net there on the windows. I have no worries of those as I, you know, enjoy the cool breeze coming through the window. And here, that is me. <laughs> have a nice mirror real plants which i really want to take care of it for them because this plant is struggling um and you have another plant here on the table this is the decor for the dining area i love these chairs they're like a what type of pink would i call that it wouldn't be rose gold with it maybe a type of rose gold and you have a nice little scoop there Nice little seating for four. The dining area is very nice. And then I'm going to move on along here to the full kitchen area. And I'm going to cut on the lights. Just give it a little bit more. This is the lighting here for the kitchen area. It's a fairly simple kitchen area. Yes, I have already done my grocery shopping. <laughs> so um, the cabinets, there's plenty of space in the cabinets. Um, as you can see here show everything but yes yes plenty of space and it is well stocked with essentials the things you may need most of the things I've already purchased brand new microwave nice electric stove and more cabinets fridge is Pretty dope as well. Nice little floral design on the fridge. As you can see, I went grocery shopping. And yeah, that is that. You also have a water dispenser here. I'm probably not gonna use that, um, but I will use most places here in Mexico uh, for the Airbnbs. They do provide you with a this little thing of water here. Um, and it's brand new, you can tell it's never open. Out of courtesy, just until, you know, you get yourself settled for those who may need that. So yes, this is the kitchen area. 
So I'll just pan around and show you again. So this is the full kitchen. Going into the dining area. And then the living space. So right next to the entrance, when you walk in, you will see this big <laughs> black wall that's obviously cut out into two double doors into the laundry room, which I'm actually doing laundry right now. So it comes with this two-in-one washer and dryer by Samsung. It plays music, it talks to you, it does a few things. <laughs> and yeah, this is the laundry area. All right, so moving along into the hallway area, you see some nice decorations going on. Let me cut the light on here. Um, I went and bought some candles because I am a candle girl and I'm an incense girl and I have to get the energy right and my disinfectant because yeah, super OCD. But this is the wall art and the decor going into the hallway. And we're just gonna go ahead and go into the first bedroom. So this is bedroom number one. Just to show you how tall these doors are. Um, let me go in. Now this room is pretty plain. There's nothing going on with it because it is a guest room. That's just the lighting there. And then there you have where you can store your clothing and your luggage and your clothes. You have some towels. You can place your shoes there at the bottom. The headboard is pretty tall. <laughs> Just a plain wooden headboard to match the side table decor, which it has storage on the inside. Just gotta do it like that. And yeah, very simple. Every room has a view. And this is the view for this room much the same as the living room area. And then of course you have your blackout <laughs> curtains to you know, block out the light when it's time to rest or nap. And then we'll just open that back up. All right. And we're gonna head out into the guest bathroom. So this is bathroom number one. And once again, they all have the same uh, type of door construct. It's very nice, very modern. And this obviously, you can see the sink and the cabinet, which is very nice the way they do that. And they have like just some little tissue and things in there. A very modern, futuristic type sink. And it's a very plain, like I said, the, the guest bathroom and bedroom is pretty plain. Um, it's not that as decorated, but it's still nice and has everything that you, know, you would need. All right, so moving along into the next room, which would be, this room is pretty much like a utility room, to be honest. I know there's a laundry room that I showed you, but this room is where, you know, you would come to iron if you need to. Um, we have the iron ironing board here. Has another window. This room here is very empty, but obviously it's where you can hang clothing. Um, like I said, laundry. Pretty much like a second utility room. But when I fold this up, and if you see the size of this room, and it's pretty clean, obviously everywhere in here is clean. But I was actually thinking of using this as a sort of meditation room. And I love the space here on the floor, pretty square space. And I can just bring my yoga materials or whatever meditation materials and definitely use it as a meditation room. So we're gonna continue on into the hallway. Let me see here, nice plant. All the plants in this home are real. And this one is by far the most gorgeous. It's not struggling as much as the others, but I'm gonna to try to take care of the plants while I'm here. And then you have your mirror decor here in the hallway, which I think is pretty gorgeous. Now we're gonna go ahead into the second bedroom, which is pretty much the master bedroom. 
It's mine. It's, that's just the lighting there with another lighting in the corner, as you can see there. And just kind of step back and show you a little bit. So it's the bed. I have a fan here because, yeah. <laughs> and then this table, this side bed decor is the same as the other in room one where it has storage inside. Here, as you can see, I just have some reading material and other materials there. And the bed is super comfy, super clean. Headboard is the same. The bed and the headboard, everything is pretty much the same as far as the room decor as room one. So this is just all of my things and how I've set up everything for the room. Let me show you the patio area here now. It's very small, but nonetheless, it still needs love. <laughs> so let me turn this back. So this is just a little step out patio. It's not meant, as you can see, I'll show you the size. It's not meant to truly sit out here unless you have, you know, a pretty small chair. But it, I like how it's decorated here and with the little fall leaves. There's just some construction and things going on down there. So, yes, yeah, it's still very peaceful. I absolutely love it. I'm going to go ahead and just back out one more time and show you. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pull this bedroom door back so you can see. This is the in suite bathroom. It looks pretty much the same with just a few more decorations. That's the first bathroom. Here I have my incense that I actually just burned out. My candles, place you can hang your towels, of course, and nice, beautiful, modern, clean shower with strong water pressure. <laughs> Everything you would need here, same thing. Same thing as the first bathroom. And yes, that is pretty much it, guys. This is the penthouse, two bedroom, two bath, two utility room, Airbnb in Guadalajara, Mexico. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Now I'm gonna show you guys a clip of how beautiful and serene everything looks in the evening. Okay, so this is the nighttime vibe, all right? Absolutely love it. Let me show you the skyline. City skyline and open. It's just so beautiful out here. And yes, these are just the vibes. Yes, yes, these are the vibes. I'm about to eat dinner and get right in this bed and call it a night. Hope you guys enjoy the luxury penthouse Airbnb tour.